Transfigured on the Mount of Christ our God. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Be Transfigured, where we invite you to live a new life in Christ. We pray that this episode is a blessing to you and will inspire you to rededicate your life to Jesus Christ. We invite you to join us for worship or study at the St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Cathedral in Tarpon Springs, Florida, where visitors are always welcome. We'll be back in a few moments to share some more information about our ministry. My brothers and sisters, this is a beautiful day in the church, the day of the Samaritan woman. A day that the church celebrates St. Fotini. Fotini was not a holy woman, woman when she was living her life. She, like all of us, lived with sin. Although her life, we can understand from the gospel, she lived such a sinful life at the time that she had to go to the well at noon in the heat of the day because that's the only time nobody would be there to encounter her. Imagine the shame that she must have experienced having to endure the heat of high noon just to avoid interacting with the people. That's the kind of life that she lived. And when she encountered Christ, who knew she was going to be there, they begin having a dialogue and Christ reveals to her, he tells her everything she ever did. Her heart was totally exposed. But instead of feeling shame, she felt the love from Christ. And so she went to the city. And she said to everyone, you've got to come out and see this man. He told me everything that I ever did. I think this guy might be the Messiah. Imagine the experience she must have had. For her entire heart to be opened to her by Christ but not with shame, with love. And so the city folk come out and they begin talking to Jesus. And after a couple of days, they also believe that he is the Messiah. And they turn to Saint Fortini. You know, we came out here because you said something, but we no longer believe just because you said so, but because we have heard him. You see, my brothers and sisters, when any human being comes in contact with God, our hearts are exposed, and we feel God's love. But if Saint Fortini had not gone to the city to tell her friends, you've got to come check this guy out. If she had remained silent, if she had kept it a secret, then the entire city would have gone through life having never met Jesus Christ. Imagine the shame of it. How unfortunate it would have been for that entire city just because Saint Fotini may have kept it a secret. But thank God she went out and she told everybody. Now it's our turn. We have had our hearts exposed by Christ. I know it because I hear people who come to me and from one experience or another inside the church, divine liturgy, oftentimes in holy confession. 
And I've seen with my own eyes what happens when someone experiences the grace and love of Jesus Christ as a healing power in what has taken place in their life. And I'm here to tell you that I feel very blessed having been blessed to hear confessions for so many years. There's just about nothing I've never heard and yet when I see someone standing in front of the icon of Christ, feeling his grace and love, it inspires me to go another day. This is our job, my brothers and sisters. To be like Saint Fotini. To go and tell everyone we know that there's a better hope out there for them. And it doesn't matter what anyone has ever done in their life. Saint Fotini, among other things, had five husbands. And she was living with a man who wasn't her husband. And still, Christ extended to her the grace and love. This is our great opportunity so that others can come and hear Christ for themselves. To come and be in his physical presence and to have a meeting with him like she did at the well. Lucky for us, we have air conditioning. We don't have to worry about the heat of the day. But well, we normally have air conditioning. Today we have air conditioning. But God is waiting. Let's do our part to go and tell the city, come and see Christ. Feel his love and grace. And I promise you they too will believe. Because God is great and God loves us. And he wants only the best for us. Christos Anesti. Christ is risen. Be Transfigured is a production of Be Transfigured Ministries in cooperation with the St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Cathedral in Tarpon Springs, Florida. We depend upon your generosity to maintain our ministry. You can make a safe online donation when you visit our website, liveanewlifeinchrist.org.